Hey there, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be taking a Nexus fluid simulation, although this will work with X-Particles fluid sims as well, it works with both, and we're going to be creating some wet maps using XP Vertex Map, and then these wet maps can be used at render time to make the surfaces that the fluid has touched look wet. So let's jump into Cinema 4D, we'll start that five minute clock and begin. Here we are on our scene then, and we have an emitter which is set to a cylindrical emission shape, and we have an NX gravity just set down to 600 centimeters, and we have an NX fluids giving us the fluid solve. It's set to the SPH solver. We have five substeps because it's moving quite quickly, so we've got a bit of greater accuracy there with five substeps, and we have check density active, which means that it prevents any explosiveness as the particles are born. And we're getting this really nice fluid sim. We have two pieces of collision geometry here, our wall, obviously, which is a um, primitive cube, and we have a floor, which is just a plane. So what we want to do is create a wet map where these particles hit the wall. We'll do that with XP Vertex Map. Now we have one in our scene. Let's just bring a new one in so we know where to get that. Insidium, X Particles, Utilities, and we'll bring in an XP Vertex Map. Let's just bring that to the bottom. Now it's asking which object do you want to make your Vertex Map on? So let's drag in our wall now. We have a slight issue here. Because our wall is our collision geometry, if we hit NB to show the lines, we don't actually have many uh, much geometry to work with here. We've intentionally made this very low poly because it's faster to calculate for our GPU collisions. So instead of making a, a wet map on this collision geometry, we'll make the collision geometry invisible and not uh, renderable. We'll control drag to make a copy on the copy that's the one that we want to look at we want to remove the collision tag from it let's delete the collision tag and then let's make a load more geometry so in the segments in the x let's put say 90 and 40 in the height so now we have got lots of geometry okay so in our xp vertex map we'll drag in our copied wall and you'll see that, look, a vertex map has been created here. Let's select the wall, select the vertex map, and all those vertices have zero weight. They're all red. So let's go into the vertex map settings. By default, we have a polygons layer. Now, we're not going to be using polygons to decide the weight of vertices. So let's just delete that one out. What we're going to do is add... A layer and we want an X particles layer where X particles hit the vertices uh, a vertex paint it with weight so let's click on that now in our X particles layer it's going to want to know which emitter we want to use so let's go to the options of the layer here we have the object so let's drag in our emitter we'll just leave it on default and let's see what happens so yeah look where our fluid solve is interacting with the wall we're getting this vertex weight. Okay, so it's not quite what we want just yet. Now you can see, look, we're getting this kind of circular painting of weight around where particles interact with the wall. And that's because each particle has a range of 25 centimeters around it where it paints weight, but that falls off here. Look, it starts at full power where the particle hits, and then over that 25 centimeters, um, it tails off. So we could probably make that a lot lower. Let's put that on, say, 5 centimetres. Yeah, so now we're just getting a little um, bit of weight being painted around where the particles hit, but it's not very smooth, obviously, because it's using the vertices of our uh, object. So we can go to the Effects tab, and look, let's add some smoothing to smoothen that out. Something like that. Let's hit Play. And now we're getting that vertex weight painting on where our um, particles interact with that object. Very good. Now, if we just make our emitter invisible, you'll see that um, it just fades off straight away. As soon as the particles move away, we lose that wetness. So we can change the mode to help with that. If we go to the Layers tab, by default, the blend is set to Normal. But if we set this to fade, then add, 
we will get this adding of the weight and then it will fade over time and if we increase that fade you'll see look we're getting it adding adding and fading away then adding more when more particles hit on top so that is how we can create a live and dynamic wet map using xp vertex map to work with how a particle interacts with some collision geometry and then this vertex map could obviously be used at render time to create a nice kind of glistening wet material.